Hey, it's Paul with Rack Attack, and this is the Yakima High Road Rooftop Bicycle Carrier. This is Yakima's premium upright carrier, meaning both wheels stay attached to the bicycle when it's loaded up to the carrier. Now, in this video, we'll go over all the key features of this rack, the security features that are included, the construction of the rack, and how to load and unload bicycles onto this rack. Okay, let's take an overall look at the design and the construction of the Yakima High Road. For starters, the overall design uses the double hoop method to secure and attach the front wheel of the bicycle into the carrier. Now you have a hoop here and a ratcheting hoop along with a turn knob and this turn knob will bring the hoop in tight against the tire of the bicycle. Now this hoop arrangement can accommodate mountain bikes anywhere from a 29 inch diameter to 26 and then road bikes anywhere from 700C to 650C. And so it'll self adjust automatically to those sizes. There's also a clutch mechanism built into this turn knob which will click ensuring that you've reached the correct amount of tightness when loading up a bicycle. Now at the rear here we have an adjustable rear wheel strap and cradle and that will adjust out to match the wheelbase of road bikes and mountain bikes. There's also a ratcheting hold down strap and this strap is available in two different lengths. Both lengths are included so you have an extra long length for fat tire bikes and then a shorter length for road bikes and some narrower mountain bike tires. Now these are removable so that they can be positioned on either side so that the bicycle can be loaded from the passenger or the driver's side of the vehicle. Now as far as construction goes we have the strength of steel in these hoops along with this red base is steel for a very sturdy hold on the bike and connection to the roof rack. The two bars here which work as the tray for the rear wheel, those are aluminum to help keep the weight down. So overall selected parts and materials go to help with the overall long-term durability and stability of the rack. Now let's take a moment to talk about the security. You'll notice here we have a loop that's welded into this lower support hoop. Now that is designed to where you can use your own U-lock in order to lock around the wheel of a bicycle. And so that gives you an upgraded method of locking your bicycle to the carrier. However, the carrier itself does have its own security built in, starting with a cable that's housed in the back of this tray, it extends out and you have a floating lockdown point and then that will lock to itself around the rear frame of the bicycle. Now additionally, to lock the carrier itself to the crossbars of your roof rack system, there is a lock housing which is built into the rear mounting hardware and that lock housing will accept a Yakima SKS lock core. So that lock core can be inserted in place of the plastic plug and prevent release of this strap from the rear crossbar of your vehicle. Now let's take an up close look at mounting the high road to the Yakima base roof rack system. So we have these flexible stainless steel bands which are rubberized to provide grip and protection to the finish of your load bar. Now what we'll do is we'll take this buckle and go through and then there's a cam system that will allow us to tighten that buckle all tools free. Now this gray knob will allow us to adjust the tension to make sure we're gripping that load bar with sufficient amount of force. And so we can just adjust that until we feel confident that it has a good tight grip on there. And then there's a slider that slides and keeps that 
from reopening. Same on the opposite side. So at the front of this carrier, there are two of these clasps. Okay, now here we have the rear and we'll go ahead and adjust that to where it matches up with the crossbar spacing. And then we can go ahead and bring around the clasp and make any necessary adjustments to get the right amount of firm grip to the bar. Now here on this rear, we have the closure and that closure actually has a SKS lock housing. And so that will allow us to, to lock the carrier to the load bar for security. Now lock cylinders are sold separately in mat sets. And so you can purchase those in case you have multiple carriers, you can have everything key matched. Okay, so now with the high road mounted onto the roof rack system, I can go ahead and demonstrate loading a bicycle. And the first step in that is to first prepare the rack to accept the bicycle. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the rear door and then stand up on the threshold and extend out the large hoop and then also release the rear wheel strap so that that's out of the way and ready to accept the rear tire. Now I can go ahead and grab a bicycle here I happen to have a, a road bike. Now what I'll do is I'll reach down low on the bike, on the fork and on the frame, and then get that ready to load up. First get the rear wheel into the rear wheel holder, and then I can go ahead and guide the front wheel into place. And then I'll bring up the rear hoop. I can push that rear hoop up and get some grip, and then to further tighten, get this turn knob, and we'll crank that until we get a good firm connection to that front wheel. Now, you'll notice here it's clicking, and that indicates that we've reached the correct tightness. Now here at the back, I can go ahead and move this adjustable rear wheel cradle directly underneath the axle and then ratchet that to where it gets a firm grip, not too tight, but firm against that rear tire. Now the bicycle is ready for transport. However, we also have the option to use the cable lock. And the cable lock is housed at the end of the tray here. It has a, a floating lockdown point along with the lock mechanism. So we can just get that around the frame and then bring it back to that floating lockdown point. And if you have your SKS lock, at this point you can turn the key and lock that. So now you'd have security for the bike to the rack. And if you've locked the rack to the roof rack, then you have all those points locked. And it all is potentially key matched when you purchase a full lock set. Now to bring down the bike, we just do things in reverse. I'll go ahead and again, stand on the threshold. Let's go ahead and release the rear wheel. And then now we can get control of the bike and then begin loosening this turn knob. And then that will allow us to lower this smaller rear hoop. I can just go ahead and pull that down and that releases the bike. And I can go ahead and have it rotate my way and step down away. Now I can go ahead and put the rack back into the stowed position with this rear hoop all the way down, the large hoop nests in between. Okay, well those are all the key features of the Yakima High Road Rooftop Bicycle Carrier. This product and the full line of Yakima products are available at RackAttack.com. Please see the link in the video description for all your buying options. If you have any questions or comments about this product in particular, feel free to leave those in the comments section below and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We have over 2,000 rack related videos and we upload new videos weekly. That's all for this one. Thanks for watching.